Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix, and today we're going to be taking a look at the PS4 Pro and the PS4 Pro cooling fan, and we're going to see if this cooling fan actually helps to keep the PS4 Pro cool, if it's needed, if it's not. We're going to install this cooling fan, and then we're going to play Tomb Raider for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then we're going to test the temperature again to see if the temperature changes with the cooling fan installed. Now before we get started with that, I do want to ask you guys about Twitch. If you guys would like to see my videos on Twitch, last Sunday I did a Twitch premiere where I basically uploaded my last video to Twitch. And if you guys are interested in that, I am willing to continue to do that and explore that if it's something you guys want to see from this channel. So with that all being said, let's get this cooling fan installed and get started with the gameplay. So here we have the cooling fans that just snap into the back of the console and then we also have this cable. This cable will plug in right here on the fans and then it will plug into the USB port on the back of the PS4 Pro. So we're starting out at about 120 degrees Fahrenheit and 43 degrees Celsius. And now we have just turned the fans on. The fans are, are on high right now and we're still at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we're gonna play this game for about an hour and a half, two hours, and we're gonna see if this temperature changes at all. Okay, so we've been playing Tomb Raider for about an hour and 15 minutes or so, and we have a temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit and 54 degrees Celsius. So that gives us a good benchmark of how hot this runs with the fan installed. So now I'm gonna unplug the fan and let it run without it and see if the temperature rises or falls. You can hear how much quieter the console runs with the fans unplugged. So now I'm actually even going to remove the entire fan from the back so it doesn't impede any of the airflow out the back of the console and then I'll play for another hour or so. So we are at an hour and three minutes of gameplay with the fans back off and the reading is 129.9 degrees Fahrenheit and 54.4 degrees Celsius. So this test clearly shows that at least in this case with this game, the external cooling fans on the PS4 Pro do nothing to actually cool the system more. Now, if your console is really dirty or it's not in a well ventilated area or something like that, some sort of cooling fans may help. It's hard to tell for sure. The way these systems work is the fan stays at a constant level until the console decides that it needs to turn it on. If the console senses it's getting a little bit too warm, it will turn the fans on a little bit more to go a little bit faster and a little bit louder. So it is normal for these consoles to turn the fan on higher and louder when they get warm. Now with the external cooling fan, it would still do the same thing. If this console sensed that it was getting too hot or too warm, then it would turn its internal fan on more and make it spin faster and louder. So I can't say for sure as I don't have a really dirty console here to test, but in this test, it clearly shows that if your console is fairly clean and running normally, that the external cooling fan really has no effect on the temperature of the console. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what other videos you want to see in the comments below. I'll hang out in the comments for about an hour after this video goes live. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and I hope you guys have a great day.